Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is once again your man Bob and Bob, Doc Wildcard. Welcome you to a brand new game for me called The Curse of Match for It's this is a game by Winter Wolves uh, awesome developers. It's a game which it's from what I understand afterlife dating sim and so let's get right down to it. Okay, both heroes have the same cards on levels. Personal backgrounds. Huh? Okay. Whoops. Oh, jeez. Okay. Let's see. Well, I... I haven't really given a chance to this before playing card games on computers, but... I'm going to give it a chance now. Uh, so let's see what this does. First awakening. Okay, so. I don't feel so good. Must have been quite the party. But I don't remember any of it. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't remember much of anything. It smells like damp stone and wet grass. Laying on grass, I can feel an enemy off against my bare skin. <coughs> Memories flash in my mind like images reflected in spinning shards of broken, broken mirror. Too quick to grasp, let alone comprehend. Not only do I not know what happened to me, I don't even know if they, if they happened. I don't even know the me they happened to. Can't recall something as simple as my name. Wait. In the depths of my mind, I can hear someone calling me. Words are too faint to make out. Listen. Listen as hard as I can. Words is faint and softened by the distance. So far away beyond time and space itself. Sounds like the Twilight Zone. Cool. Ace? Uh? Ace? My name is Ace. That sounds right. Ace like the Ace of Spades, the highest card in the deck. Yes, I used to play a lot in another life. My name is Ace and I am... How old am I? Good qu How old am I? Good question, Ace, you are. Roll over my back. Brilliant life presses down my eyelids, almost forced them closed by the weight alone. I run my hands over myself. Over me I know nothing about. I'm an adult. Adult just the weird fancy outfit. Maybe I was at a Halloween party and got wasted. That was pretty much like rather unique attire. I wish they put Halloween there instead of Halloween. That's the original name for Halloween. <coughs> oh well. Very weird days, but there's nothing that's going to be clear, come clear about keeping your eyes closed. I saw my things they should know this. Where am I exactly? Press myself up with my hands and knees, my head pounding with the movement. Grass beneath me sways and rolls like the sea by refuse to give in to the illusion. Since my brain creating an excuse, the excuse to prevent me from opening my eyes. I know things are not normal. I know I can't handle it. knows I can't handle the truth. Nice. That's from a few good men. You can't handle the truth! It knows. To finally open my eyes. So far, things seem normal enough from Neil and all grace after my was told me. See, brain, that wasn't so bad. Nothing I can't handle. Look up. Oh, this is a beast background. Perhaps I spoke too soon. And even the zombies agree it's a beast background. <laughs> Thumbs up from a skeleton. <clears throat> Although, there's nothing strictly abnormal about a graveyard with tell my mossy headstones, coffee eye, and mouths of him scattered around me so as far as I can see. Does pay the question though. And then up here lying in the middle of it all. Again, for all I know, this could be normal. The reality of every day in the middle of the graveyard with a pounding headache and no knowledge of who I am. 
Yeah, I really hope that isn't the case. What if the crowd stop healing before the is rising? Takes a while. No small amount of carriage I can show you. But I make it eventually by using the nearby headstone as a crutch first and then as a seat. Oh, jeez, that's not right, man. Well, at least my clothes, they all seem to be intact. My eyes are masked, but my body is at least in one piece and in good shape. Whoever I was before this, I have to take good care of it and for all that I'm grateful. This mattress? Greetings. Huh! Just a surprise and I'm spraying moist in the room for all the hits that are my room. Ow! Uh, hello. I really thought I was in the room. Well, I kind of liked it that way. I mean, I'm sure it's not to yell, but we're going off the road. It's good to get in front of hand to walk away and why I'm doing it before I meet people. Gotta turn the music up just a bit. Anything to it, otherwise. I woke up, I can hardly see anything. Got the blind glare of the sky. Just some room fear of doing something made me feel very nauseous. Hello. Hello? Peter trying to figure out exactly the way this battle makes me seem so easy. But it is really difficult why I can't even focus on it from the glare. Loading? What gives? I've been looking for you. Oh, why? Do I know you? I was hesitant because I don't recognize my expected companion. Of course, my memory the way it is, he could be like one best friends that I just wouldn't know it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Unlikely. I am not just you are my new gatekeeper. Say something. Possibly it is a reflect face on the exact nature of my relationship with Cleveland Head. Now I realize what it's bothering me about the guy. I think. I think very slowly. Doesn't make a difference, he's still doing it. You're floating. Pardon. Seems to be floating six distance above ground. I should stop him. It's not done my head ain't going on. So this bit which makes things worse, it's things roughly about feet disappearing into the ground. <clears throat> he just rising slightly imagined to maintain a position which roughly corresponds to sitting on solid ground. Better. I'm sorry about that. It takes a little time to get used to the environment you've set up around you. Yes, it says nothing let it float. I go at least to avoid hearing that last sentence being said. So I stop, trying to stop talking and take a breather. Me and my companion will take the hint and the spirits above to disappear. Oh, it's luck. This nightmare was proving to be a persistent bugger. What do you see, by the way? And wordlessly wondering if he asked me why. Why if he really asked me why? I heard him asking why, though he meant the question, but I think he does. Looking around you, what do you see? I'm curious. It will help me collaborate your harmonics. I see what's there. Great here as far as the horizon operations. Ah, interesting. I never cleared that up. I was wondering. What do you see? I see there is what there is, young one. Nothing but your soul glimmering dimly against the darkness. Glimmering dimly. That's not very nice. So it's be bright and shining thing. Forever star in the heavens. Sorry, but you have a very distinct pattern. Quite unusual. That's nice. Don't believe a word of it. But since he's the only one around. <coughs> Even if I 
ask you to explain every detail of everything you said to me in the brief time with apparently no each other how long it would take. Well, that's a bit difficult to answer, seeing there's no time. This time has no hold in this place, but I understand where you're going at. What a success for this place. Deeper down the well I go, I should shop on my head. Of course, I've always been taking terrible at taking advice, especially my own. Say that with confidence, even though I have no idea who I am. Weird is what it is. Weird, I tell you. Does he mean weird or does he mean weird? I can't tell. I differentiate by saying weird for like stalkers and such and weird for as an odd, the awesome stuff. There's a bit of a learning curve to this place. Alright, how about this? Let's rewind, rewind, rewind all the way back to the beginning. I'll pretend to be fast asleep so in the end. Pretend you never met me. Things will be so much simpler that way. I completely understand. I doubt that very much. You are a first new with rage though. As such you aren't able to remember who you are, where you've come from. I show you that is normal. This present sense like a gesture of goodwill I mean. I'm not really sure about keeping my mouth closed this time because opening is not helping the slightest. I say you are the great slow, I mean you shred you said that mortal carcass that was imprisoning you and joined the great cosmos. Wait, you said I died? That was a simplistic way of saying it, but yes. Congratulations, by the way. That can't be true. This is a dream, it has to be a dream, right? It isn't. <clears throat> Question was rhetorical. Not sure why I even said that out loud. So it's not, neither do I. Things work differently here, you see what I discover. I don't want to discover, I want to wake up now! Saying that, I pinch myself hard. I am exactly where I am. This makes me sound like a big wuss, I don't care. I've just woke up in the middle of a graveyard, being tossed by a floating tramp who's trying to be dead, I can't remember what I called what I suppose he had. It's enough to make anyone cry. I mourn my loss. Remember, but never was meant to my my own hand through, but no less meant to my life. Try to drop my eyes on my sleeve. Feel much better. It's just a bad dream. Too much bad wine, underage cheese, two piece narcotics. All those late nights, and I remember wild parties and crowd calling me. That's all. Gonna wake up soon, I'm sure of that. Are you ready? Uh huh. I'm ready. Wake me up, Mattress. Don't take this personally, but I hope we never meet again. You'll have to meet the others. You have heard I said. You must have. He's ignoring me, the bastard. He says that he's excited about me crying. Small sweet man. I don't know a man who was small sweet in a way of two more while we were inside. The phlegmatic, long suffering kind of man who doesn't. Savagely murder old men who float and you find your work when you are where we do is wake up and who you are. The others? Sorry, I'm all party down. I need to go up and get the work. I better know what work I had in the waking world. But if I'm involved playing poker and dressing fancy, I'll come for what I had. At least I wouldn't be dead. Dead you do, eyes. But your work is here now and it's very important. It's a long time for you to come along. This may be eternity, but that's no excuse for slumber. Screw my face, bunch my fist, and pound like a three-year-old on my knees. I want to wake up! Please let me wake up, please! Boys, for goodness, my ears boom across the room at this graveyard. Floating companions on the road and apparently unimpressed. You are not going to get anywhere, just stay there. Oops. Well, that's not the trick to the street thing, true. There's space and time I have no meaning here. But you'd only feel worse. Believe me, I've seen it all many times over, often simultaneously. You may think you're the only one, but everyone has the, these problems when they first enter limbo. It 
It's very traumatic for the soul to be wrenched from mortal vessel into eternity. Fine, whatever, I'll kill you, I'll meet the others. Get to my feet, and I'll just ground a lot more stable now. Even though some slight tremors remain, I can at least maintain my balance. Expect to be able to hype it pretty much as soon as I got up again for our matches. We end up top of the slight rise, looking down. Alright, so what's this? This is very cool. Okay. You can visit the other avatars by clicking on each house or matches by clicking on the castle. Try clicking on the castle there. Okay, so cluster of houses, each one is so different from its neighbors. Why is there an unnecessary uniform there? Just saying. Might as well have come from this place. They are floating in space. Okay, so. Yeah, apparently this was written by someone fine. Oh well. In the center of the hamlet, a group of figurines are scattered across some sort of portal. When you draw closer, I can see each of the figurines is different from their companions, and the houses were from each other. Stands a pan of giant, giant of a man of ferocious countenance covered in what looks like seaweed drifts in a non existent breeze. Behind him is a slip of girl draped in rags with light skin and a playful energy to her. Stands a small, lithe man, nondescript folks dressed casually but with claws for hands. Next to him is a statuesque woman, purposely blind, with her shoulders draped in feathers full like wings. Stands a giant warrior's heavily muscled torso that covered with deep paint and knocking symbols. Near him is a slender woman dressed in finery, her hair scattered with precious stones. Stands a skeleton, slender youth with long black hair and black clothes, draped in belts and chains. A mahogany brown woman dressed in scarcely anything but fire orange tattoos, somehow ripple across the body, stands next to a fire spark in her eyes. Stands a green haired figure wearing a tank top. His neck is draped, is wrapped in a scarf and a pair of sunglasses wrapped on his head. Next to him there's a tall flame haired woman wearing glasses and skin tight to the liquid metal. Lastly there stands a tall woman less dressed in laces and crinoline. What's crinoline? She'd be rather sexy if it were for a strange almost dead like skin color. She says, You took your time, Manchus. In no time, I was young, me, a long one. Manchus sounds weird if, without remembering, without me, it's taking place as if time without me is taking a toll on him. Serves the old duffer. What's a duffer? Is that some British thing? Right, for commandeering all the people's dreams. <laughs> Yeah, that is kind of a burlesque outfit, ain't it? Like in the 20s, growing 20s. That was a cool time period. Meanwhile, this burlesque is tripping me with her eyes. I had to tell him back again, taking a sweet time. I turned the favor though, there's something creepy in her look. What the tax? I think we'll have fun with you before annihilating your existence. I usually go. Oh, jeez. Finally, just letting the one scales both of us disapproving look in her eyes, ignoring me, she yells to the undead lady. You will do no such thing, Lily. Rules are rules, are uh, there for a reason. Undead lady, yeah, that was originally going to be the name of this game. Uh, in the chat forums, Winter Wolves chat forums. I forget why they changed it, but yeah, that would be a cool name too. It's always rules, rules with you. I haven't made up my mind yet. You can't give me all this area. Not that I'm following anyways. Well, at least I knew one of the names of these two fun ladies. Oh, jeez. 
What is this I'm thinking about? This is a taxon nightmare. I need to wake up. I use the word tax instead of this word because the, I don't want to get demonetized. Also, as a way of protesting against taxes because that's what taxes do. Change the enemy and pay for it. Not for both of you. Be careful with him. He looks strong, but his friends are confused. And the rules of the no rules for a reason, you folk. You think you can break them with impunity? I'll break you. Whoa. Without worries, he flees a spear with all knowing accuracy. Penetrating Louis by just be his first turn. She staggers back, looking down, stunned, surprised the weapon tray, painting her body, and then sinking to her knees. Staring hard, thinking I need to be careful. Women in this place are definitely more dangerous than the world back on Earth. Blue giant draped in some sword flots and mother simply it sounds like a geyser under immense pressure rocking from the Earth. Lily from the ground grins weakly. Sorry, sweetheart. You can't kill me. I'm already dead. That is what I faint. That's going to be the end of this chapter, ladies and gentlemen. Keep this from getting too long. If you did what I'm doing, please subscribe and I'll sub back fairly well.